dry weather is leading to wildfires in parts of the Carolinas. With more on this wildfire threat, we go over to meteorologist Scotty Powell. Yeah, thank you, Frank. You can see here, this is some of the wildfire smoke that we've uh, and fires that we've been talking about today all over western North Carolina. And you can see these pictures are pretty uh, scary looking. And I have to reflect on this. Back in 2016, we saw something very similar to this. I grew up in western North Carolina where we had a flash drought and had very high fire conditions over the early to mid-November time frame. So this is a very critical wildfire scenario. We're going to watch this burn ban has been issued for North Carolina. And you can see all of that here in red. And this means there is absolutely no burning whatsoever. And like Frank said, it's no big secret that it has been dry. It's been so dry here in North Carolina. Now this is over the past year. You can see some places almost two feet drier than what they should be down in Henderson County over into portions of the Carolinas, even here in the foothills and just south of Morganton, about seven and a half inches of rain below where we should be for this time of the year. So very dry period. And that means that we have a severe drought in place for all of the upstate of South Carolina, western North Carolina, including the foothills. And we go back into the mountainous areas. Here's Asheville and Hendersonville. And then just over the Appalachian Mountains in Tennessee, that is an extreme drought. And that's a category four or drought scenarios. So it is very dry in this portions of the area. In fact, it's starting to dry out here as well. We have abnormally dry conditions in the uh, Grand Strand, but even up towards the PD, we're starting to get into that level two drought of moderate. So we all need some rainfall. A couple of the fires that are out there right now, one of these is the popular fire, uh, popular drive fire in Henderson County, about 5% contained right now, 430 acres burned, but the newest update hasn't come out yet. So we'll probably see that expand. Two homes and one outbuilding was burned. And in fact, 34 evacuations have taken place with this fire. The second one here in the Collett Ridge fire in Cherokee County, over 1300 acres burned. So these fires are really producing some widespread concern in the Carolinas. And unfortunately, Frank, doesn't look like we really have a lot of rain to talk about to help these fires. 